father. Okay. And I have, and I have uh, four brothers. Good evening, one, teacher. One sister. Okay. Uh, uh, living in El Salvador? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, uh, okay. What, kilo? One, two, two brothers. Okay. Uh, live, live in El Salvador. Uh, two brothers in the Maryland. Maryland? Maryland. Uh, okay. My, my brother, one of the los, los mayores, is uh, living in the Maryland. He, his boss is boss in the in the hotel. Ah, okay. The hotel uh, in the, and my Good work. And my other brother. Okay. Working uh, with with my brother. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. In the hotel. Okay. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Is it is uh, ciudadano? Uh, how do you say ciudadano? Um, president. Re a resident. 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 Yeah. Yes. My my okay. brother, okay. the boss, is resident. Do you okay. send? Maryland. Maryland. Do do they send money for you? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> My I sister, not. my sister <laughs> is uh, 15 year old. Ah, oh, okay. Wow, she's young. Is uh, okay. a, a menor. Yeah. Okay. Teacher and practice. In practice, teacher. That's cool. You know, that's very good. No, that's no, no. Cool lugar en otro tiempo, <laughs> yes, teacher, right. So you need teacher, to take how, advantage. How old years? How old oh. years old? How old years old? Yes. How, how many how, years old? How many? How years what? old? Your so age. You, you want to know about how to ask for the age or about my age? Age. Yeah, but yeah. can you reformulate the questions, please? Uh, how many years old? You. Uh, ah, in my case, how? Oh? In this case, how do we ask it? Let me help you out. It's quite easy, you know? This is a general question that we can use. How old are, old. Uh -huh, are old you? Are you? Uh -huh. In this case, this is general. Okay. How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Because we cannot say how many. No, in this case, it's how old. How old are you, teacher? Oh. How old are you, Cesar? How old are you, Elvis? In How my case, professor? yes, professor. I am. Um, I am thirty-one years old. Yo cuesta profesor, teacher. Yeah, you can tell me, teacher. Don't worry. I'm thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, but you know, most of the time in English, we are just going to mention uh, the number. I am thirty-one. Thirty-one. Casi oh, nunca, nunca, o no es tan común decir years old al final como la respuesta. Years old. Oh, I am, so, I am 31, I am 41, I am 51. I am 43. I am 43, no? So, how old are you? I am 31. I am old. I am old. I am 51. Yes, but <laughs> no, we don't need to feel old, you know? So, how many students do we have? 13. 13 students already. Let's Don Emerson, Benvenuto. Mm -hmm. Ana hola, Gabriela, hola. Eduardo, hola, is there? Good Hi, good evening. You? Yeah, we're good. We're happy Hi. to have you here. Okay, el class, so <laughs> let me introduce. No, he's not. I know. Uh, let me introduce this class. You know, we are ready to start. Remember that we are about to finish with section number five. And yes, we have been practicing and talking about family members. So I was listening to you guys. Because when I came into the class, it was Aleli and Cesar, and they were discussing about their family, right? But remember, this is very important. It's quite important. Escuchaba esto y tenemos que corregir, okay? For example, my brother works. No olvidemos que estamos hablando en presente simple. My brother works. No, si decimos work, this is incorrect. Grammatically incorrect, you know. My brother works. 
working name? tampoco, no, teacher. Se puede decir también. Mi hermano trabaja in a, in a hotel, you say, in a hotel. Yeah. Or, yeah. Uh -huh. porque este es algo, que, eh, recuerden que el simple present tense, these are like um, actions that we do every day, like a routine, como una rutina. Entonces podemos decir, my brother works in a hotel. Porque si lo decimos, my brother is working in a uh -huh. Yo dije, brother. my brother working in a hotel. Ok, is working. Working. Working in a hotel. También esta la podemos expresar como algo que va a continuar haciendo. Ok, my brother is working in a hotel. And is acceptable. También se puede decir de esta forma, ok. Right. Pero como información general, eh, what does your brother do? ¿Qué hace tu hermano? Ah, my brother works in a hotel. Or you can also say, my brother is working in a hotel. You know? And this is a great introduction, you know, because for today we have a very similar topic using the present continuous. Yesterday I was telling you about the present continuous. Or we can also call this the present progressive. It is up to you on how you want to refer to this structure. Look, class number 14. Well, actually this is class number 15, but yesterday we were just introducing this one, the present continuous. Oh, teacher. Class we are 15. about to finish the course. Yeah, it's only today and tomorrow, and then it's over, but just for a couple of days, because on Monday, I really hope you to start pre-intermediate two. Okay. And Monday? No vacation. No, I why not? No vacation. No vacation. <laughs> why no do vacation. you need vacation? No. no. You're going to have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and that's it. Es la idea, ¿saben? Oh Para el día... Um, lunes, ustedes inician el próximo módulo, que creo que es de los grupos que más o sea, rápido que el, he visto. O sea, que el viernes estarían mandándonos ya el link de la nueva eh, That is the idea. Esa es la idea, ¿saben? Aunque, okay, yes, eh, regularly it takes a week for people from English Corporativo to make the groups, to send the invitations, and to assign, eh, in this case, the new module in the platform. No estamos seguros, pero sí estaba escuchando eso, que para el lunes quieren ya iniciar con un nuevo grupo, ¿ok? Pre-intermedio 2. A ver qué tal. Oh, my God. Yes, right? So, be ready. You know, we don't know. Ready. But, yes, that's the attitude. No, no, no. Me gusta eso. No, no, no. I'm ready. You know, I'm ready. I really like that. I'm ready. No, so, no felicitado, teacher, por, por ser what? al menos lo los más constantes. <laughs> Al menos por eso. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, yeah, from my part, you know, uh, I really like that from you because you were even complaining, e incluso se estaban quejando por qué no podemos entregar más temprano a la clase. Come on, class, the class is at nine. Ustedes quieren estar antes, ¿no? Oh? Eso impresiona bastante, you know? Even though you have had a very busy day at work, maybe a difficult day at home, but you are here, you're ready to participate. So I really appreciate that, you know, that motivates me to be here with you guys. Me motiva mucho, you know? So vamos a ver, what is the present continuous? Do you remember the structure? What is the structure about the present continuous? ¿Quién se acuerda? La estructura del present continuous. No es ING. Yes. So whenever we want to make affirmative sentences with the present continuous, what is the structure? Or the formula, aquí también la llaman formula, but in my case, I prefer to call it structure, la estructura gramática. Yes, yeah. Be, subject, uh, verb, in, and be, and complement. For affirmative. Yeah. Affirmative. Be? Ah, affirmative. Y el Be, subject, verb, ENG uh, complement. Okay, you're going to start with verb to be. Yes, be. Plus subject. Like this. Subject. Uh -huh. Verb. Mm -hmm. But in this case, I guess this is not an affirmative. This is an interrogative. 
right? Oh, okay. Yes. 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 About subject, subject B. Subject, B, exactly. So, yes. Okay. Subject. Sí. Okay, let's make four affirmative first. Les preguntaba de afirmativos, you know? It's not necessary for you mm -hmm. to memorize, you know, this type of Sorry. formulas, but it's very useful in the end. So, subject, okay. verb to be, mm -hmm. um, verb, verb e e ENG. Yes. Enter parenthesis, ENG. ING. Um, complement. And then we have the complement. ING. ING, and then the okay. complement. So this is quite easy, you know? Is this the formula? Yes, it is. And then the okay. comment. Exactly. And whenever we want to make a question, it's the other way around. We have the verb to be at the beginning, then the subject, plus the verb and the ing form, and then the complement, you know? So why am I asking you about this one? Because we're going to create some um, questions, then at the same time, some affirmative sentences about the present continuous, you know? So here we go. Let me show you some example. I guess, yeah, we have a video in the platform, so probably we're going to go and watch the video, you know? Here we go, look, first part. What do we have in the first three examples? What is this about? Are these affirmative or interrogative sentences? Interrogative look. sentences. Exactly, interrogative statements. And yes, as Aleli, she was mentioning, at the beginning, we have the verb to be, that it can be are, is, or am, you know? But with am, es bien raro que nos hagamos a nosotros mismos preguntas, por eso casi no usamos am para una pregunta, porque es raro que nos preguntemos, you know? Am I doing a great job? Es raro que nos preguntemos, so... Am, si es posible usarlo, pero es muy raro, ¿ok? Por eso tenemos ejemplos con are, isn't, are, the third one. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working in another city? Yes, she is. Or we can also have, no, she's not. No, she isn't. You know, eh, in this course, we have been working a lot with the short responses. Hemos tratado de trabajar bastante, chicos, con short responses. Preguntas cortas. Y si son cortas también, darles un complemento. You know, in order for you to make advanced or more advanced replies. Not basic replies, but intermediate and advanced replies. So don't forget about this one. Use the short form. Are your parents studying English this year? Yes, they are. No, they're not. Or we can also say, no, they aren't. Okay, con el verbo to be. And we can also have these other type of questions using the WH words. WH words, for example, where are you working now, look at this expression. Yes, Irma. Do you have a question or comment? Please go ahead. Eh, o sea que así como en, en la, las primeras de arriba, solo podemos responder en respuestas cortas. No podemos dar una respuesta larga. Mm, you know, it's very common to hear short responses. But if you want to express with the complete way, that's okay. No es que no se pueda, Irma, sino que eh, es muy común escuchar respuestas cortas. Pero sí se puede, ¿no? Sí se puede. No hay ninguna okay. prohibición o regla que nos detenga de hacerlo. Uh -huh. so that's okay. Gracias. Okay. okay, you're welcome. That's a really nice question. Uh, Irma, recuerdo que yo le, eh, bueno, nos dio problemas una preguntita similar a esta, si recuerda. You ¿No? Know? Sí, sí. That's right. And I was explaining sí, to Irma, sí, yo me acuerdo que nos dio problema un ejercicio de estos con ella. Lo único sí, que no podemos, por... ajá, ¿se acuerda qué era? Short form, ¿qué es lo ajá, único? Por, que por, la, por la coma era, que la habíamos puesto separada. Exactly. Short form, ¿cuándo no podemos responder con short form? ¿Quién se acuerda? The question is the question. 
Mm, no, pero estoy, estoy hablando de eh, verb to be, ¿ok? Am, um, is, and um, are. ¿Se acuerdan? Cuando yo no puedo responder con pregunta corta. When is, uh, Cuando la respuesta es positiva. That's it. Negativa. Muy bien. No, not really negative. Cuando la respuesta es positiva, no Muy podemos bien. responder de forma corta. That's it. Se la voy a ubicar por acá. Esta pertenece a esta columna. Cuando la respuesta es afirmativa, acuérdense, no podemos utilizar forma corta. No short form. Cuando es afirmativa, no podemos decir yes, I'm. Yes, she's. Yes, they are. Eso no existe, ¿ok? Solo con negativo si ya usamos la forma corta. Yes, I am is the correct one and the only response that we can have. Yes, she is. Yes, they are. ¿Ok? Nunca vamos a utilizar ni en escrito ni en forma eh, oral la respuesta corta para afirmativo. Esto sí si es una regla. This is our rule. Clear. Is it clear? Yes. Pero yes. cuando estamos usando el to be. Exacto, cuando usamos el to be. Por eso lo ubiqué en la pregunta de arriba, en las tres primeras. Obviamente cuando tenemos, eh, in this case, WH words, in this case with the present progressive, look, we can make use of the short form. Acá. Ok, forma corta. Pero porque le sigue un verbo, ¿ok? Le sigue en este caso, starting, traveling, and working. Bien, but what do I want you to notice? Lo que sí quiero que se enfoquen ahorita es en these expressions. Miren, now, these days. Ah, uh, esta también, this year. Look, expressions asking about activities that are happening in the moment, but they are going to continue, you know, during the day, or probably they are going to take a while. What are you working, no, where are you working now? What are your friends doing these days? You see, we are taking into consideration not only one day, but many days. Okay, and I have some examples here. Look. Vamos a irnos a esta parte. I have six different questions. That these are very nice examples about plans or activities that we, um, that we have done before or that probably we can plan of doing these activities, you know, someday. For example, learning a foreign, foreign language. Do you know what is the meaning of foreign? ¿Saben qué es esto? Foreign language? Algo así como foránea, creo que, ¿Mm? que viene de, como del ex Ajá, como del extranjero. extranjero. Muy bien, muy bien. Sí. Significa extranjero. So, are you class, are you learning a foreign language in this moment? Yes or no? Yes, we are. Yes, right? Yes, we are. ¿Será que están yes, aprendiendo yes. un foreign language? Yes, you know. Yes, because, yes, we yes, we are. A little. Because Spanish is our mother tongue or native language. Veamos, podemos llamar el español como nuestro native, you know, native language. Lenguaje nativo, o le llamamos también mother tongue, lengua materna. Look, mother tongue. Así se pueden referir ustedes al inglés, perdón, to the Spanish, al español. Su lengua materna y su eh, native language, lenguaje nativo. 
Is English your native language class? Yes or no? No. No, right? Is Japanese your native language? No. No, it's not, right? Is Spanish no. your no, native language? Japan. All right, you don't know Japanese. Mm -hmm. So is Spanish your native language? Yes, yes. Yes, yes right? Yes, so native language or mother tongue. Just let me check on something. Yes, I was not sure about this one. Así va. Hoy se llama mother tongue. Sí, English, English is the second second language. Muy bien, al inglés le llamamos second language, you know? Y si saben un tercer idioma, podemos decir third language, you know? We can refer to another language as a third Caliche. language. Yes, right? <laughs> Otro lenguaje, dice, yes. We as a Salvadorian, you know? Sí, eso para los pues, Salvadorianos, yes. Spanglish. 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 It's very common, you know? <laughs> so, learning a foreign language. I am learning a foreign language. Estoy aprendiendo un foreign language. ¿Cuánto les ha tomado estar aprendiendo un foreign language? ¿O cuánto les tomará, mejor dicho? How long? Um, 18, year, 18 years, 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 many years, many years, many years, many years. Many years. So look, I am. Veamos la estructura. Let me make it bigger. Quiero hacerlo más grande. Will. Hacer. Será que usamos will? I don't think I so. Am 18 months. Yo aprendí. Yeah. Oh, one years. Pero si decimos aprenderé, pero si ahorita learning. lo estamos aprendiendo ya, yeah. sería I am, I am learning. 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 Está fallando el teclado de mi laptop. Necesito una nueva. New laptop teacher. Foreign language. Christmas. <laughs> so I'm here. No, no, for my birthday. Here. For my birthday. Here. My okay. birthday is coming. So I'm learning a foreign language. What are the birthday? July 18th. July 18th. Oh, so yes. Yeah. I'm learning a foreign language. You know? Yes, ya it is casi. coming soon. Casi soon. It's coming soon. Vean ya este ejemplo. Queremos, ya no estaremos con no, ustedes. No, ya no es ganado. Esa es una forma de decir, no se la vamos a dar nosotros. Yeah, right. the other o sea que, group, o sea que tiene, tiene que hacer la petición al nuevo, a los nuevos grupos. Para que... I will, you know. Voy a pedir. A Jason. A Jason. A Jason. It's not Jason. You know, he's not the big boy. Pilato. <laughs> <risa> Él no es el big boss, you know. Jason es parte nada más del grupo también. Bien, I'm learning a foreign language. Vean este ejemplo muy claro. Una actividad que nos va a tomar años incluso. Y podemos decir mañana, I am learning a foreign language. Y el siguiente mes, I am learning a foreign language. En next year, yes. probably, I am learning a foreign language. So, the present continuous, it can also be an activity that is going to take a long time to finish. You now, because we don't know when we are going to stop learning a foreign language. That's it. Take a look at number two. Veamos el segundo ejemplo. Raising a child. Raising a child. What is the meaning of that? ¿Qué significa eso? Raising a child. Crear un hijo. Muy bien. Cristelia dice que está teniendo problemas con la lluvia. Aquí también ya empezó a llover. Raising a child. Who is raising a child in this moment? Let me take a look at you. Who is raising a child in this moment? ¿Quién Hi. sigue? You are? I am. Okay, you I, are. I am raising a child. I am raising a child, he says. Who else? ¿Quién más? Irma Raquel, are you raising también, a child? También. Yes. Me yes. too, teacher, right? Yes. Excellent. Who else? ¿Quién más? I hi, I hi a baby boy. Glenda también. <laughs> yes, you are? Emerson. Emerson. Ah, Emerson también. Emerson is raising a child. Okay. So who else? 
How about Carlos Seden, Eduardo Elias? Are you raising a child? Sister. You are. Oh, you see? Very nice to know. Yes? Or no more? Ya no más. Ya los criaron. Ya terminó esa etapa por ustedes. I am raising a child. Yes. So you see? Yes, this is really like with a relief. Con un alivio. Yes. It's over. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Misión cumplida. <laughs> How do you say that in English? Misión cumplida. ¿Quién sabe? Misión cumplida. No ven películas, chicos. ¿Cómo se dice misión cumplida? Este... No recuerdo, teacher. No, okay. no remember. I don't remember. Mission no? completion. Uh -huh. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> nah, that's another topic, you know? <laughs> yes, so raising, I am raising a child. In my case, yes, I am raising a child in this moment, you know? Um, a child and yeah, a husband. A child and a husband at the same time. I'm <laughs> raising two kids, you know? Yes. <laughs> so, number three, what is this activity about? Look at number three. Renovation the house. Uh -huh. la casa. Renovando yes. la casa. Renovating the house. Renovating the house. Renovating. Who is renovating the house in this moment? No? Mm. Renovating. You know? You. I. I. Okay. What part of your house? What part of your house are you renovating in this moment? El techo. ¿Cómo diría el techo? Roof. Uh, no. Roof. 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 The roof. Se me está cayendo por la lluvia. Oh, yes. You're renovating the roof. Yes. How about the garden? Maybe the garage? Or you are just uh, painting, you know, giving some other colors uh, to the world? Because that is part of renovating the house as well. So, who is renovating the house in this moment? Who has that project going on? Renovating team in the house in the December. December. <laughs> in the vacation yeah. December. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, my husband. Know. My yeah, husband. Generalmente. <laughs> it is very common, you know. December. It's so common yeah. that people on December. In the vacation, this, this uh, finish the years. Probably, right? Because it's vacation. Like in yeah. in the there you go, Lo que yo le permito gastar. Oh, oh my God. Dice César, oh, hello, menos mal que no la conocí antes. Lo que nos da el aguinaldo. O sea que Emerson, te equivocaste de a quién preguntar. Yes, you are toxic girl. Yes, she is the toxic in this la pregunta no era, para, no era para la teacher. Yes, it was not for the teacher, but for other girls. You know? So how do you say Aguinaldo? Do you know? How do you say Aguinaldo? Aguinaldo I don't know, teacher. When I sit down here. So take a look at it. It can be like bonus. Or bonus. Like bon bonus. Mm -hmm. Bonus. Un bonus. You know? Para que tengamos vocabulario y podamos decir, okay? Why bueno, on December? Pero, pero una consulta, pero yeah. si decimos bonos, nos referimos directamente a Aguinaldo o podemos agregarle la palabra diciembre. You can say December, December bonos para Or referirnos a que es el Aguinaldo. Christmas, Christmas bonos también podemos decir. Christmas bonos. Ah, lo hacemos como referente right. a Christmas. No, yes. En oh caso sí, así lo expreso. Christmas bonos. Oh, yes. Yes, right. So, renovating the house, this is a nice plan. Otro plan muy bonito. Veamos qué más. Number four, working in another country. Working in another country. Edwin. Who is working? Yes, right. Who is working in another country in this moment? Is Edwin in the class? Let me see. The listen. Edwin working in the listen. Yes, yes. No? So, you know, he's taking English classes from Belize. So, that's really he nice. He is you know? working the chef. Really? Oh, he's working yes. as a chef. Yes. Okay. Yes. Edwin, I guess Edwin is there. Hi, Edwin. Hi. Hi. Where are you in this moment? What country are you in this moment? Um, actually, in, in, in Cayo, Belize. 
Ah, todavía está feliz. Wow. Imagine. Salinas. Salinas. So, he is working Salinas. in another country. ¿Qué podemos decir? Una oración, una acción que va a continuar. He is working in another country. You know? He's not in El Salvador. Look at number five. What is this activity about? Writing, writing a blog. Escribiendo un blog, una página, en una página. Most of the time, this is a virtual, virtual blog, you know, like a virtual activity. Writing a blog or there are similar projects, you know? So do you oh, like to share this? Yes. Uh, it's correct. And making, writing a blog. Making, eh, creería que depende. Si estamos creando el website, yes, okay. making. But in this case, if you already have the place and you're just typing, you can just say write in a blog. Okay. ¿Qué más? Learning to drive, learning to drive. Who is learning to drive in this moment? Aprendiendo a manejar. Aprendiendo, aprendiendo a manejar. Who, who has this project coming on or who is doing this activity in this moment? Who is learning to drive in this moment? Nobody? Teacher, I want to learn to drive. Ah, so when are you going to start learning to drive? When are you planning to, to start your class? In the Christmas. Uh, and Christmas. The, uh, yeah. with the bono Christmas. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's a really nice plan. And to and to I am to learning to drive. Excellent. Me gusta ese proyecto, you know, learning to drive is very useful, you know, muy útil. Aprender a manejar yeah. esta igual. Well, in the yes. moment it's in the thunder. Standard. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> Automatic. <laughs> oh, standard. <laughs> No, it's, it's not very good. Hoy el estándar casi no funciona por los tráficos. Yes, right. Pero es mejor porque si se te queda el vehículo puedes arrancarlo, pero un vehículo automático no lo vas a poder reemplazar. No lo vas a poder arrancar. No, no, Así que tenés pero que imagínese el tráfico. No, 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 uh, those type of discussions I really prefer you to do in English, you know, so you can practice. That's okay in English. So um, now let me ask you about your ideas. ¿Qué otra actividad, proyecto, podemos decir? Comes to your mind. Let me listen to your ideas. Actividades que podamos usar con el present continuous, pero que van a tomar un poco de tiempo en... Eh, En este caso, terminar tal vez, o que van a continuar con el tiempo. Your ideas. Let me listen to you. What comes to your mind? Uh, teacher, I'm proud of my um, okay. business. Improve? My business. Mejorar el negocio. Improve. Sí, mejorar, sí, mejorar mi, mis, mis, mis negocios. Okay, so I am improving my business. I really like that, okay. you know? I have the same goal. También es una de mis metas, you know? I am working yes. so hard in my business. I have two business, you know? So yes. I'm working very hard. Anyone else? ¿Quién más? Any other idea? ¿Qué otra idea? Yes. Actividades que podamos decir que van a pasar en un largo tiempo. And that we can express using the present continuous. Mm -hmm. So I know you have a lot of ideas, but you don't want to tell me just right in this moment. So let's do something. I'm going to give you some time so you can go say hi to your classmates and at the same time come together with some ideas. Please discuss with your classmates about activities that we can express using the present continuous. Like in the example, I'm going to share this picture so you can have a reference, you know? Veamos, ¿qué idea se le viene a la mente? Proyectos o cosas que podemos expresar con el presente continuo. Here we go. Go and work with your classmates, okay? In English, please. And 
Do not forget to have your cameras on if possible. Solo tengo un par de justificaciones acá. Los demás no me han justificado. Please. Cameras on all the time. Vamos a trabajar ya. Ok. There we go. Very good job. Okay, go with your classmates, please. Okay. I'm just missing Iris, Elvis, Edwin, Estelia, probably because of the rain, and Ana Gabriel. Are you having problems, Iris? Okay. Pongamos. I am cooking the dinner. Dijiste este. Cocinando la cena. Ajá. It también. Can be teacher? Cooking the dinner, you know? But I am I guess, cooking the dinner. Yes, of course. This is an action that is happening in this moment. But mm -hmm. are you going to continue cooking your dinner today, tomorrow, next week, next year? An mm. action that is not going to end? <laughs> Ah, but you start cooking and then you stop cooking. Okay. Quiero ejemplos de actividades que van a seguir pasando en el tiempo como proyectos. Esa es una palabra clave. Projects. Proyectos okay. que no solo toman un momentito. Because cooking puede tomarnos, ¿qué? Unos 30 minutos, una hora lo más. Paramos la actividad. Uh -huh. Es que el verbo aprender no abarcó. Yes, right. Yo sé que es presente continuo, pero quiero que se enfoquen que también el presente continuo es para hablar de actividades que pueden tomar a largo plazo. A largo plazo. Esa palabra me gusta, Jessica. Long time, not short time activity. Long time Long activity. Time. Por eso quiero que piensen qué cosas podemos expresar con el presente continuo. So cooking, no. Think about mm -hmm. another one, please. But you're, you're, is, you're getting there. Y, y, y si yo digo, eh, you are dancing eh, mm, in the dancing. this year. You are dancing, pero será que nunca va a dejar de bailar? O sea, voy a bailar y bailar y voy a dormir, voy a seguir bailando. <laughs> no. Tal vez I am learning, uh, I am learning to dance. Ahí sí, miren. Ajá, es que prácticamente todo lo abarca como aprender. Se produce it, siempre el mismo verbo. No hay ningún problema. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's correct. It's <laughs> so, yeah. so, yeah. Entonces, podemos decir, o puedo decir, I am learning, eh, dancing. I am learning, y luego sigue un infinitivo, to dance. I am to learning dance, to sí. drive. Dance, okay. eh, the weekend en la semana o final de año. You can be specific if you want, if not, that's okay. That's the weekend. Okay, me gusta eso. Sería the weekend or the week? During, durante, during the week or during the weekend. That's okay. Veamos ahora, Daisy, yes. Ahora tal vez si puede. Go ahead, please, Daisy. 
And okay. it's correct to say, I, I am going to the gym. I really like that one. Me encanta. I am going to the gym. Ven, es algo que se supone que tendríamos que ser constantes, ¿verdad? But we are sí. not, you know. <laughs> I am going to the gym. Y si se fijan, nos estamos ocupando la palabra learning. También hay otros ah, verbos. Sí. Que... Really nice example. Vamos, unos dos ejemplos más. Digamos, eh, eh, por ejemplo, yo que trabajo en mi casa ah. eh, la semana. Se podría poner, I am working in my house in this year. Muy largo. I am working from home. Estoy trabajando from... desde casa. Desde casa. I'm okay. working. Sí, I really like that one. Muy bien, Jessica. I'm working from home. Excellent. So continue, please. I'm going to visit your class. Go to Korea. Let me listen to you. <laughs> yes. Ah, dele, dele, iba bien. Huh? Eh, teacher, tengo yeah. una duda. Tengo una duda. Ya, yeah, please. Eh, cuando quiero decir quiero ir, está bien. I want go. I want to go. Ah, I want to go. to go. Lo había puesto al revés. Go to. No, I want to go. So, go. where are your classmates? I cannot see Eduardo, Cristelia, Elvis, um, Andre. Ajá. Where are you, girl? Yo aquí estoy. Yo aquí estoy. Eh, Cristelia dice que ella no tiene audio, pero ella ha estado escribiendo en el chat. There we go. Excellent. And Elvis, Eduardo, and you, where are your cameras? No Las cámaras que tengo, <laughs> chicas. Ajá, recuerden, cámaras encendidas. Cámaras encendidas todo el tiempo. Si no, Isa Bo está solita acá. She's working by herself, you know? So did you finish? Let me listen to your ideas. ¿Qué pensaron como grupo? Activities that are going to be in a long term. Largo plazo, long term. Okay, not short term. Yes. ¿Qué pensaron? Uh, eh, yo tengo una pregunta oh, una, re, oh, una respuesta una oración okay. tengo okay, okay. Eh, dice I am learning English because I want to go Korea ok, that's ok I really like that idea I am Está learning bien. English yo tengo otra duda y es que Griselia está usando el going to no sé si también lo podemos usar o la formulamos así como lo dice that's ok because going It's already expressing that it's an action that is happening in this moment. So yes, si se puede, going. I am going to. That's okay. Es una progresiva también, acción progresiva. That's it. So let's go back to the main room. Volvamos a la sala principal. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Time to come back. Okay, there we go. Wow, we are just missing 15 minutes. Qué rápido se nos va la clase, 15 minutes. Okay, present continuous, present progressive. Qué ideas obtuvieron con sus compañeros. I really want to know about your examples, okay? Who wants to start? I'm going to give you the time to express your ideas, okay? Looking for a better job. I really I like that apareció. one. Yes, no Fernando. No puedo entrar, Elvis. Really? Why not? Because of no the me, Se me congeló todo, así que no sé qué hicieron. Ay, Dios. Oh, <laughs> yeah. suéter, hijo. <laughs> I guess it's the internet. You know it's the internet. So, Fernando, me gusta esa idea. I am looking for a better job. This is a clear example, you know, because I'm going to be looking for a better job until I find one. Okay, es una actividad que va a pasar. Okay, I am looking for a better job. Me gusta mucho esa idea. Any other example? Yes. Also, teacher, we can use present continuous for talking about the habit. For example, okay. I'm eating healthy. Mm -hmm. I am eating healthy. I really like that example. 
Excellent, Elgardo. You see? It's an action that is going to continue in a long term. Si somos constantes and I am eating healthy, claro, es una actividad que va a durar mucho, you know? Alguien mencionaba otra bien similar. I am eating healthy. Who was it? I guess it was in Emerson's group, right? O quién era que me mencionó? Daisy, Daisy, give me your example, please. Um, I am studying my university career. There we go. I am studying my university career. Do you have any other example, Daisy? I am going to the gym. Okay, listen to that one. I am going to the gym. It's an action that is going to happen in the long term, you know? I am going to the gym, I am eating healthy, I am looking for a better job. Glenda, give me your example, and then Carlos, and then Gladys. Go please. Um, I am learning to play the piano. There we I go. I am studying at the university. Excellent. And I am learning second language. I am learning second language. Very good job. Really nice examples. Carlos. I am working in a personal project about being site for tutorials about law enforcement. Really? Wow, interesting. Really? Quite interesting. That's it? That's it, Chair. Thanks. Really nice example. Really nice example. And I really hope you to, um, to do great, no? Que le salga todo bien en ese project. Gladys, give me your Thanks. example. Mm -hmm. I am good. me escucha? Yes, we can. Now we can. Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. I am looking for a good job. Okay. No, yo. Okay. Yo, este también. Espérame. Learn me to. No, learn me second language. You're learning a second language. Okay, excellent examples. Let me have Brian and then Gabriela. Lizette, how did you know, Gabriela? ¿Cómo sabía que iba a decir Gabriela? Okay, Brian and then Gabriela, please. <laughs> Give me your examples. Brian Isaac, Isaac, Brian Isaac, yes. El ejemplo que le dije a las compañeras en, en el grupo. Uh -huh. Okay, which is the one? Uh, I want to improve my skill in English. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, I want to have uh, two jobs and I want to build my house. Okay. Pero como, si se fijan, eso serían como I want to, I want to. ¿Cómo los convertimos en acciones que están pasando en este momento? Ah, Brian. usted está hablando de presente continuo. Exactly. Lo que quería hacer. No, not ah. simple present tense. I am. Es... ¿Qué hago? Como algo cotidiano. Una acción que no va a terminar en un periodo corto, en a long term, que va a terminar en un periodo largo de tiempo. Give me uh, your example. Yes. Uh, I am learning English for a long time. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to work uh, every, every week. Mm -hmm. That's it. Every day. Everything. I'm going. I'm going to work. I'm yeah, going, I'm going to, work to work. Yeah. Everything. Every, every day. Okay. Really nice examples. Thank you, Brian. Yes. Go ahead, please, Gabby. And then Elvis. Okay. I am learning to cook. Okay. I am playing the guitar. I am reading a romance book. Okay. So you see, I am learning to cook. I am. Reading. These are actions that are going to take 
you know, some days. Very nice examples. Gabriela Elvis, give me your examples. Two examples. Two, that's okay, I, yeah. I am learning English to serve better to my gringos customers. Okay. <laughs> I am working to give the best education to my daughter. Wow, I really like that one. That is so special, you know? Excellent, Joe, excellent. A really nice example. Let me have Fatima and then Andrea and then Ana Gabriela. Go please. Your examples. One or two examples that will be really nice. Go please. Um, I am swimming every day. Um, I am living in the new house. Okay. Um, I am working every day. Okay, yes, right. We need to work every day. That's it? Yes. There we go. Okay, next. Who was next? Yo. <laughs> okay, please, let me listen to your example. Okay, I am going to open my own business. Wow, okay. That's it. <laughs> Otro, uh, yes, yes, another one. I'm going to be a mom in a couple of months. Really? Wow, that's so nice. <laughs> she's going to be Thank a mom you. in a couple of months, or we can say she's going to start raising a child, you know, in a couple of months. Is that, or is this your first baby, Andrea? No, it's the second one. It's the second one. So you already have experience. So you are not worried about that, you know? <laughs> you already yeah. got experience. So congratulations, my girl. Thank you. ¿Quién más dije? I don't remember. ¿Quién más le dije? That's it. Uh, Ana Gabriela, I guess, right? Ana Gabriela. Let me listen to you. Or I guess she's not there. Jasmine, do you have your examples? Jeremias, how about you? Oh, okay. estamos hablando, chicos? ¿Cuál es el tema de ahora? What is the main topic for today? Ayúdenme a los chicos. Depression continues. Para referirnos sobre qué? Activities that we are doing right now. Okay, activities that we are doing right now. Okay, just me, entiendo. Or in a long time. Que van a durar por mucho tiempo. Muy bien. Let's go back. Questions about this topic. I guess it's not that hard to understand, you know? Solo tenemos que entender eso. También es para acciones que están pasando en un periodo largo de tiempo. So, this is the present continuous or present progressive. Really nice example. ¿Qué más tenemos? Let me see. I guess we have quantifiers. Quantifiers. Hmm, what time is it? 52. Let me just introduce. In, vamos a tener esta lectura y mañana vamos a continuar con el tema en sí. It's really easy and really nice topic, the last one. So look at this one. I guess we have the same conversation in the platform. I'm not sure about this one. Let's go to the platform. Este es el último ejercicio. I come from a big family. Aquí está. Let's listen to this conversation and then we can practice and talk about this people, okay, here we go. Mama chicos, let's listen. Hello, do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcos talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. 
A lot of families are smaller these days, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. How many brothers and sisters do Meili and Marcos have? Type your answers on a discussion box. That was fast. Let's go back and let's look for the conversation again. Hello, family. Hello, family. Okay. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. Hello. Do you come from a big family? What happened to me? it? Okay, let's just stop here. You know, what is the topic about this conversation? I come from, I come from a big or small family. Could you identify what is the topic about this conversation? I come from a big family or I come from a small family. Yes, Gabriela. I be. A big, a big family. family. That is the main topic about this conversation. Yes. Who comes from a big family? Is it Marcos or is it Meili? Marcos. 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 Marcos comes from a big family. Take a look at this question. How many? How many brothers and sisters, and sisters do you have? have Siempre have? lo preguntamos en plural, ¿ok? Porque no estamos seguros si es que tienen hermanos o hermanas o solo uno o si es hijo único. Siempre preguntamos en plural. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Do you have? Uh -huh. Nunca podemos decir how many brothers and sisters. ¿Por qué? Porque estamos utilizando contables. La expresión how many se refiere a cosas contables, ¿ok? En este caso... Sí, porque, no sabemos, no, porque no sabemos cuánto, cuántos Exacto. tienen. That's the reason why. Esa es la explicación. Porque uno, how many, se refiere para cosas contables. En este caso, brothers and sisters. And because we don't know the information about these people. You know, in this case, we didn't know the information about May Lee. So how many brothers and sisters do you have, May Lee? Actually, I am an, an only child. 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 Only child. Who is child. an only Solo child? Un... Who is Solo an un... only un... child? Hijo? Hijo único. No, única. Me. No, única. So an are only you, child. Are you an only child? Oh, look at it. It's Elena. It's an only child. Who is an only child in this class? Who else? I am no? not. Sure. You are not an only child, okay? Who else? King Mas is an only child. Nadia? Nobody? No. No? Okay. So, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Tell me your information, please. How many brothers and sisters do you have, class? I, am I have one brother, brother and, and one sister. One sister. Okay. I, have I have two I just sisters. have one sister. Okay, one sister. I have three brothers. You have three brothers? And Ana Karina, how many brothers and sisters do you have? Two, two brothers. You have two brothers. Three. So you are the only girl in the family. Yes. Wow, yes. you're a lucky girl. So, in my case, I have a lot of brothers and sisters, you know. I have so many. So, I'm really lucky, you know. I have a big family. So, how many brothers and sisters do you have? I have, and then you mentioned the number of brothers and sisters that you have. And if you want to be specific, you can be specific, okay? Actually, sure. how many yeah. brother and sister do you have? <laughs> the I question. have um I have four sisters, no, five sisters and 
two brothers, but one of my brother, he, he passed away, you know? The elder, el mayor, he passed away. So I only have one brother, you know, and five sisters, imagine. Wow. Wow, yeah. big family, It's teacher. a big family, you know, it's a big family, See? yes. It is, so yeah, we are, we are seven, seven kids. So actually, ¿qué significa esto? Actually, what is this? Realmente. 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 O actualmente. En realidad. Actually, I am only child. Really? Yeah. Look at this fact. Miren esta información. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Wow. Is it the same in El Salvador? ¿Será que pasa lo mismo en El Salvador? Family. Todo lo contrario. <laughs> yes, look at my example. You know? Definitely no. <laughs> Definitely Typical no. in Peru. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, most of the families in China, they have only one. But in El Salvador, it doesn't happen. You know? No. So I didn't know this. What about you, Marcus? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow, is that typical in Peru? ¿Qué está diciendo él? Is that typical in Peru? Not really. Es común en Peru, algo así. Miren, typical. Esta expresión es muy usada. ¿Es eso común? Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big Some families pequeños. but big families are great because you get lots of birthday present. And this is this is true, you know? Eso es verdad. Whenever you come from a big family, you get lots of birthday presents. So mañana yeah. vamos a hablar. De algo bien similar. Si se fijan, seguimos hablando de qué? De la familia. Give information about parents, brothers and sisters, or members of the family. Okay? But let me go and check the attendance list in this moment. So we can finish the class after that activity. Veamos. Please. Lisa, voy a invitarnos al café. Who's drinking coffee? Who's <laughs> No, teacher, it's tea. Ah, it's tea. It's oh, my coffee. God. Wow. <laughs> She's not drinking coffee, you know? Green tea. <laughs> I like oh. I like Green tea. tea. I like tea. She's a healthy girl. Vamos a ver. ¿Dónde está? Where is this group? Son los encuentros, chicos. Grupo de 9 a 10. Aquí estamos. Wow, qué bonito se ve eso. Let me show you this. Se los enseño rapidito. Cuando todos han completado la plataforma, se ve esto. Wow, look. I'm really happy. Oh, teacher, yo, yo, Very nice. Yo no pude completar la, la 2.1. No es la única, teacher. De ahí, escríbame, eh, escríbame a WhatsApp y la completamos juntos. No, don't worry. No, no tengo WhatsApp, es que eso es lo que me Es verdad, porque... you don't have WhatsApp, no recordaba sí. ese detalle. Sí, porque don't. mis compañeros también siempre me han ayudado y hoy no he podido recurrir a nadie. 2.11. Vale, si quiere, 11. al finalizar la clase nos quedamos unos 5 minutos y le ayuda. Okay. Okay, Vamos. Gracias. Hoy es viernes, no, ¿qué? Hoy es miércoles, right? Sí. It's no Friday. Come on, teacher, you're last. Aleli Concepción. Present, professors. Ana Gabriel. Ana Karina. Present. Uh, Ana Stephanie. Andrea Isabel. Present. Okay, Brian Edwin. Let me see, Brian Edwin, I have, no, I have Brian Isaac, it's not Brian Edwin. Present. Ahí estamos, muy bien. Eh, Carlos Eden. Present. César Alexander. Present. Cristelia Rosalina. 
Porque la imagen, teacher, estaba viendo el porcentaje. They see Magdalena, really? Ok, ya la comparto. They see Magdalena. Me too, teacher. Edgar Antonio, Edgardo Antonio, I'm sorry. Eduardo Elías. Edwin Ernesto. Elvis Aníbal. Eduardo Elías. Gracias, gracias, Eduardo Elías. Ahorita actualizo. Emerson Alexander. Yes, right. He's there. Present. Fátima Esmeralda. Present, teacher. Fernando Arturo. Present, teacher. Gabriela Lisset. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present. Glenda Abigail. Present. Iris Elena. Irma Raquel. Present. Isabo Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jasmine Yvonne. Present teacher. Jeremías Ezequiel. Present. And Jessica Janet. Present teacher. Ahí estamos chicos. Present, present, present. Bien chicos, aquí estamos. Vamos a, we're going to stop the class here. So we can continue tomorrow, you know? Tomorrow is the last class, so please do not miss the last class from this module, okay? So if there's no questions or comments about the topic from today, we can stop the class here. Thank you so much for coming and see you. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'll put the list for the percentage, teacher. Bye bye, teacher. But look, here they have 120 minutes todavía. Faltan dos clases, así que no se les han sumado los 120 minutos. Falta. Así van con el porcentaje, you ¿no? Know? Qué curioso este niño. Ahí está su porcentaje, look. Oiga, la llegué viendo también. Para que vean que cada minuto cuenta, cada minutito cuenta. Pero ya para, ves, para, ves, para que vean que yo soy la que este niño mayor. Y ella, 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 ella también. <risa> así le hace, mira. Casi se me oh, my God. Cuenta. Yo, hello. Taking on a screenshot también. No, come on. So... Menos Thank mal you. que yo soy el curioso. Yeah, you're, you're Thank you so much. You can. Okay, bye-bye. Me quedo con you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 bye.